watch this thing on. What's up, guys? My name is Double D, and I'm be talking about why Chica was first. So this kind of you know caught a lot of people off guard, but you know she said it. I was the first. I have seen everything. So today I'm be talking about why I believe she was first. Now, of course, to me, it kind of felt like Sky just threw that out there just to, you know, throw fans off because, you know, some people thought Golden Freddy was first. Some people thought the puppet was first. Heck, you know, somebody important, but, you know, not Chica because, you know, what separates her from the other animatronics? And I think I figured it out. So uh, just bear with me with this. And today I'm be talking about why Chica was first. So, first, I'm going to be talking about Fun Time Chica. So, apparently, you know, apparently no one believes that we see her at all in Sister Location. Well, when we're inside the scooping room with Ballora, I believe that the suit we're in is Fun Time Chica's. Why doesn't she have her beacon on us then? Well, we're in the scooping room. Apparently, she just recently got scooped. It's the only reason she can be in there. Plus, baby putting us in there makes a whole lot more sense because uh, once, you know, we have nowhere else to hide, why not just throw us in the animatronic that's already been scooped? Because instead of having to, you know, take everything out, it's already been done. That's why she doesn't have the eyes and the beak. So, I don't know why we don't see her later on in the game. I guess, you know, this guy just wanted to stay vague on it, but... I believe that's the reason for that. So this next part didn't come directly from me. It came from me going through old theories on YouTube. And basically what they all started saying were how there was this company called Chica's Party World, which was supposed to be separate from Freddy Fazbear's. And this really struck me as interesting because since Chica was first, what separates her from everyone else? Apparently, she was her own brand at the time. She had her own, you know, entertainment going on, and she was a separate entity. So I started going through it, and I figured this. What if in FNAF Pizzeria Simulator, we're not at a Freddy Fazbear-themed party when Afton sneaks up on Susie. We're actually at Chica's Party World. Because here's what I believe happened. Chica's Party World was very popular, and it started becoming competition for Fazbear Entertainment. So William wasn't going to sit by and just watch as this uh, business takes over. Henry doesn't seem like the kind of guy who would actually do something about it. From what we see, he's supposed to be, you know, the good guy, and Afton's supposed to be the bad guy. So Afton, trying to save Fazbear Entertainment, decided... Well, I have to do something to get this place shut down. And what better way to do that than to murder Susie? That's what I'm saying. I believe Afton murdered Susie just to get uh, Chica's Party World to sell. Why would I think this? Well, here's the thing about William Afton. Yeah, he's a child murderer, but here's the thing. We don't actually know why he murders children. We know he does it, but we really don't have a reason as to why he does it. Um, I don't know if there's some sort of thing in the books or the source code that I'm missing. If I am, please, you know, link it to me or leave it down in the comments so I know. But as far as I'm concerned, we don't know why he actually does it. But this actually gives him not a good reason, of course, but a reason nonetheless to kill Susie. After uh, Susie goes missing, she gets part of the world, they have to sell everything. They're going bankrupt. A child went missing. What are they going to do? Now they're forced to sell Chica to Fazbear Entertainment. Boom, Chica's now part of the family. Boom is, explains why she was first and why she's seen everything. She remembers being murdered. She remembers being moved over to Fazbear's. She remembers everyone else getting murdered. And now here we are understanding why all this happened. So if you guys have any complaints or, you know, reasons as to why you think I'm wrong, don't believe me. I do know that some of this sounds a little far-fetched. I'm probably digging this way too deep. But, you know, that's just my little spitball theory. It's been round and round inside my head, and I just wanted to throw it out there. So if you guys like this, like, comment, please subscribe, and...
I also have another theory coming on as to the genius behind Sister Location. What I mean the genius behind it, I'm not talking about from, you know, Scott's point of view of creating it. I'm talking about how, from William's perspective, this was a genius idea as to how to murder kids and earn a profit from murdering kids. So, in a way, that's all for this video. I'm Double B. I'll see you in the next one.